Okay, this video is about what I have concluded personally. Uh, it's not 100% evidential, but there are some evidential facts uh, in the case of Batesville Water. Um, this is what I'm gonna. This is what I've written to Facebook, and this is what I will totally hold on to. This is absolute. I'm feeling so much better currently by not drinking this nasty tap water and their fortification and all the crap they put in it. Uh, but here it goes. The tap water is definitely poisonous in Batesville, Indiana. Water heaters may harbor buildups of the toxic stuff in tap water, making it a 100,000 times worse. I'm now drinking pure water and I haven't changed anything about my food or medicine mostly. I am feeling a thousand times better just by stopping the tap. Symptoms and sign, signs include dizziness, constant sleepiness, extreme fatigue, muscle stiffness, soreness, mental illness, decreased cognitions and feelings of death. Your water may be just as bad. The government has gone crazy with substances. They are lying to your face. There are other things on the market that are poisonous too. I am seriously doing so much better. This water may cause immuno and metabolic issues. Salt does not dissolve in it very well, and pure water table salt will dissolve, but not in Batesville, Indiana tap water. The molecular count was 119 parts per million. This is actually a poisonous level. Trust me, sue your utilities. Sue the government. Your life depends on it. Look into water filtration and distillation and reverse osmosis. That is definitely as factual as I can be at this moment. And it is absolutely got to change. Otherwise, we have to do what I say. Look into filtration, distillation, or reverse osmosis. I would definitely never feed this to my children. I would never allow my children possibly to even take a bath in this stuff. Um, you might be able to wash with it, but I honestly don't think that you want to absorb it through your skin. Uh, honestly, this, this is horrific. Uh, it's, it, it's, it has to be stopped. Uh, I know for sure that it, it, it kind of almost killed me. It made me severely ill and maybe not everybody is going to react this way, but I definitely did for maybe possibly certain unknown reasons, but it's because of the tap water's involvement in, in substances and chemistry. So I know for a fact the only thing that I've changed really truly, um, except for one medication, which was a cholesterol medication, uh, that was very short in a very short time period, and really didn't link up to any symptoms. Uh, it still doesn't link up to any symptoms. But uh, the cholesterol medication shouldn't have been a problem. But um, I've also been on some antibiotics. But that is definitely not the issue. Uh, it, it, this tap water was doing the meat this way for several years. Before anything and I had tried changing my diet up a, a multiple times and I stopped drinking things and eating things and but I continued to drink the tap water consistently and uh, regularly um, and I still was sick well now I have completely stopped the tap water and everything else is fine okay I'm telling you it has to be the tap water the way that I conducted my my tests was within my body, but I also tested the parts per million, and I also put things under a microscope, and I concluded this tap water is dirty business. It's bad business. Uh, it, it can't possibly be healthy, especially if it builds up in your hot water heater, and I was using a lot of hot water to drink my... To, to create uh, mixtures of drink, regular drinks. Um, this could be a fluke, but I'm almost dead certain 
that this is absolutely the tap water's problem. And you may look into this. There may be a more accurate test, but I'm, I'm dead certain that it's not good. And one clue that I have is that physically, the content of the water does not dissolve salt, whereas pure water will. So that kind of says something about the nuclear physics of the actual ability to interact as a solvent. Uh, that means it's highly, highly content. That means it has mineralization or molecular particles or polymers in the water that prevent salt from undergoing the nuclear decay process. So, like, a high dose of that goes directly in your blood uh, after you drink it. It can absorb through the stomach, and it basically goes right into your blood. And then, it's all in your body, your brain, your organs. Uh, I also have decreased sexual uh, problems from it. Um, I lost all my libido, and it may also be because of another medication, but... Right now, my muscle fatigue, uh, my feelings of death, my dizziness, my soreness, my mental health, and um, um, basically uh, my itching and metabolic issues are all getting tons better. I mean, I feel, I feel a thousand percent better within the, the last seven days of stopping this nasty tap water. So this is... Uh, this is definitely going to be called Batesville, Indiana Tap Water Lawsuit.